It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a technical update, uh, a quick technical update midday for the uh, US markets prior to the market open. Please visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. And you can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic data for the um, the actual uh, US markets, we've had uh, housing starts and building permits both coming in on the weaker side. Okay, we've had uh, Asian markets slightly higher. We've had the Nikkei and Shanghai both higher, but the Hang Seng lower. And European markets at the moment really are in the doldrums. Uh, let's just bring up the European stats for you. Everything really is um, FTSE more or less flat. The DAX is up 37 points, CAC 13, FTSE mid 20. And really it's more or less slightly higher to flat. Okay, and we'll see whether or not that can sustain itself, okay? Especially given the fact that uh, I've done a Euro European market video, certainly have a look at that. Okay, now in terms of uh, the US markets, let's just start with the VIX. Quickly technical update on the VIX, okay? Daily chart, VIX is holding support. Okay, so we certainly haven't made a new low yet. Okay, so again, potential bottoming tail there. Looking at the 60 minute chart, you clearly see we've made a base. There's an unfilled gap above. So the VIX really is, once it's made a double bottom, it's, it's, it's not made a new low. And therefore, you're looking for a move higher on the VIX, which in turn will send uh, the uh, equity market lower. Okay, so again, VIX is an integral uh, variable here for the US markets to move lower. Okay, now let's look at the uh, next potential move. Our next potential variable okay so let's start off with the dow the dow industrials you can see daily charts certainly putting in a topping tail there okay so again uh, certainly a, um, a a bearish potential pattern okay certainly isn't a good sign shooting star etc call it what you like from a technical perspective okay 60 minute chart you can certainly see a potential double top and resistance now on the dow uh, 30 again no higher high so again indicating exhaustion okay Looking at the Dow transports, you can clearly see in the weekly chart we are certainly into turbulence now. Certainly an impressive and a monster rally, but the market certainly looks exhausted. Okay, as you can see here, top and tail, bearish engulfing candle, certainly is indicating weakness. Okay, right, 60 minute chart again, lower lows, lower highs is dominating, certainly not bullish price action. Okay, let's quickly look at the Russell 2000 now. Russell 2000, same type of scenario, 60 minute chart, lower lows, lower highs, daily chart failing to move higher no new highs okay let's bring up the uh, the actual s p 500 now s p 500 10 minute chart again lower lows lower highs certainly looking exhausted 60 minute chart h s formation this is an important 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 uh, variable okay very very important variable here in terms of the next potential direction in the market so again you have a h s formation on the um, on the S&P 500, on the 60 minute chart, the right shoulder went in with a lower high. We failed to make a higher high, and therefore you're looking for weakness, okay? 10 minute chart, again, is certainly indicating weakness. Daily chart yesterday <clears throat> was an inside bar, and this bullish channel certainly is being threatened now, right now, okay? Especially with the VIX making a base, you are looking for risk aversion, okay? Let's move on to the uh, the NASDAQ now, folks. Let's bring up the NASDAQ for you. NASDAQ, you can clearly see topping tails. This new high has gone in, but no conviction, okay? Certainly no conviction. Certainly isn't any conviction. Let me just add in the uh, volume function here. Although the volume certainly is impressive, but the, the volume has been the strongest on the sell side. So the sell candle had the long, strongest volume, so bear that in mind. So this Trump meeting potentially triggering a potential short squeeze certainly has not come into fruition really from my understanding and my interpretation okay again nasdaq certainly playing catch up to uh, global markets given the fact that they'd uh, certainly pushed higher but from my understanding certainly looking vulnerable to a further sell-off okay now let's look at the next move the next potential sorry next potential um, time frame 60 minute chart you have a uh, bearish continuation pattern no new highs you have a bear flag formation break of the uh, rising contract riding wedge etc a rising channel a rising triangle 10 minute chart really gives you the uh, the true picture and true reflection you have the hns formation here you have the right shoulder brewing you have an unveiled gap below at 4875 everything really does uh, is, is coming into play okay everything is coming into play with the the nasdaq hns formation full full on 4880 okay that certainly is indicating weakness okay now <clears throat> As I've explained before, the uh, the actual NAS Nikkei is certainly into resistance. USD JPY in a weekly chart is certainly into resistance as well, thereby indicating risk off. 
Okay, so these are all factors that are coming into play. You also have copper now, certainly indicating weakness here. You can see copper on a 60 minute chart, certainly flushing lower, thereby obviously Trump stimulus, etc., all being factored in and now looking to move lower. So again, all risk aversion. Everything is indicating lower. And one of the biggest uh, indicators really is the DAX. The weekly chart of the DAX, you can see, is into horizontal resistance. So European markets certainly have stalled here now. And given the fact that they've stalled, it's indicating weakness and we are unable to move higher. So again, these are all factors. These are all factors to take into account in terms of your positioning. And uh, obviously European market weakness is confirming US market weakness. All eyes on the HS formation on the 60 minute chart on the SP 500. Target is 22.27. So, again, bear, keep that on your radar, folks. Okay. In terms of the uh, emerging market fund, we can certainly look at that. Again, weakness is ever since Michelle indicated three rate hikes, certainly indicating a move lower. Dollar strength certainly hurting as well. Let's bring up the financials. The financials are very important. Okay. Let's just bring up the financials for you. Financials certainly have underpinned the potential market rally. The weekly chart you can see certainly see is a potential doji now. Daily chart again topping tail, doji, hanging man, all indicating exhaustion and indicating weakness. And the sell, uh, the sell obviously sell side volume certainly is starting to increase now, so indicating a potential reversal. Looking at the energy sector, you can certainly see in the weekly chart we're into that 200 MA. And thereby indicating resistance okay and daily charts certainly starting to cause weakness as well so the summation really is that we are into uh, a risk aversion okay markets are looking to move lower and that certainly is a summation okay so i think that's a wrap for us markets look for expect weakness and keep an eye on that h s formation on the s p 500 goodbye now.